Sheridan here from ProjectorSewing.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be going through a small bust adjustment in Inkscape. And I went ahead and pulled up my pattern. And I did run it through PDF Stitcher first and just selected one size and got rid of all the others. Um, it does, Inkscape doesn't export layers, so unless I would only import the layers that you need. It using PDF Stitcher. I do have a tutorial I'll link below to using PDF Stitcher. When you first get your file open, you, it, it will all be grouped together in Inkscape. What you need to do is push Control Shift G quite a few times until it starts ungrouping. And that one I had to push it twice uh, for it to start ungrouping and get the piece that I need. Um, I'm going to go take this bodice piece. And then I also want that dark piece, but it's still grouped, so I'm going to push Control shift g until that gets ungrouped. Okay, that's ungrouped now. And Shift, and I'm going to... Oh, it's grouped with all those, so I don't want to group with all those here. Let me zoom in. Get the dart and the outline of the piece. Let's zoom out. I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to work on a, a new uh, document here. And I'm going to paste it in. It's much larger than my document. That's okay. I'm going to go to File, uh, Document Properties, and I'm going to change it to inches and inches here. And I just, I choose a width and a height. 60 seems to be about giving me enough space um, for all of that. Um, and then I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and see how we look. Okay, I have my piece on a new canvas. I've already changed the units and um, document properties, so it should all be correct. I am going to go ahead and duplicate this piece. Control D should duplicate the piece, and I'm going to fill it with a solid color. I'm going to go ahead and do like a blue here, and I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity on there totally optional. And then you will want to make sure you transfer your bust point uh, where it is. The article does kind of explain how, how you can transfer that, but I'm just going to go ahead and draw that in there. And then I like to use guidelines. To use the guidelines, you're just going to come over to the ruler and you're going to click and it'll start bringing out that red line. And this just helps me to uh, line up a few things. And I can do it from the top and from the bottom. And I'm going to put that through the bust apex there to help me as I work today. Now we're going to go ahead and get the bezier tool. And I'm going to use that guideline to draw a straight line up through the apex of the dart. And I right clicked to go ahead and end that. And then we're going to shift and click on that note again and then bring it right on through. And I've been working in um, I feel like I've been working in Affinity Designer that I'm forgetting how to use Inkscape, but I've been jumping back and forth. So if I make little mistakes here and there, that's why I've been working in Affinity Designer. But do go ahead and end that path. It does tell you you could push Enter on there or Shift and Enter, and it will end that path for you. But we've drawn those two lines, and it selected that line for us. We're going to come over to the Node tool now. And I have the line selected that I chosen, and that's where our first cut is going to be. And then I'm going to push Shift and select the entire bodice piece here. Go to Path, Division. There is a shortcut, the Control, and then the Backslash. Or you can just come here and click Division. And let's see, it looks like it works. It looks like I have two pieces. You can see there's a box around the bottom piece here and a box around the top here. Let's 
Okay, now I've gone ahead and drawn a just a rectangle that has a width. Let me step back here, here. That has a width of a half an inch because that is the amount that I'm going to be removing from this pattern. The height doesn't really matter, but you can make it both a half inch. And then I'm going to come in and line that up by the bodice apex here. I'm going to be removing a half an inch. And then I'm going to bring a guideline. I can actually use this guideline here. Let, it, let me grab it. Oh. Nope, that's not what I wanted to grab. There we go. And move my guideline over. Let me change the color of uh, this background piece so we could see that guideline a little bit better. There, now you can see both of them. Now, in when I was working on this before and I wanted to move this piece down here, it kept selecting them both together. They should be separate. If that happens, try pushing Control Shift G. Sometimes it groups it together. Those who are more familiar with Inkscape can maybe tell me why, but it does sometimes group those together. So if you are having a hard time with that, try Control Shift uh, G to ungroup those two together. And then we'll double click on this to get that transform origin. Um, and we're going to put it right on where our seam allowance will be. And I'm going to say my imaginary seam allowance is about there. You would want to check on your pattern and get that on there. Now we're going to rotate. So this apex corner here is going to come up to um, the point that we're working on here. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, let's rotate and we're going to bring it all the way up to meet that line. That's about where I want it. It looks pretty good to me. We're going to use the bezier tool again. So draw the line, come all the way through that second piece. We're going to get all the way through it and push enter. Use the node tool. Select the second piece, shift and select it, path, division, and I think we've got two pieces. There we got two pieces. That's what we want. Okay, now we are going to take that move tool, double click it. We're going to change that origin right onto the line. Let's zoom in so I can get it a little bit closer on there, right on the line, right where we're rotating from and rotate that piece back into line with my guideline. And it's looking like I want to make sure it's lined up right with the guideline. It's a little bit further out so I can get it right on that guideline. That's looking closer on. Yes, you can see that line comes right through the guideline. There we go. Okay. Now we just have, we can see that there was height removed here, but there was no height removed on this side. So we need to draw a line with our bezier tool again. We have that piece selected. It doesn't matter where you remove this height from around on the bottom piece, uh, but just so we can draw it through, click enter to end that line. I'm going to use the node tool to select the larger piece again, path, division. It looks like they're in two separate pieces, so that's what we want. Good, use the move tool. And I'm just gonna hold shift so it goes straight up. Oh, there, shift and it goes straight up. Nope. Sorry, I zoomed out while I was doing this. And get it right on there looking pretty good. We can already see that it's taking shape a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and use the node tool and line up all the lines, the new nodes with where they need to go. And let me zoom in here a little bit so I can get where these should go. Now We'll talk about those dart legs in here. It looks like there was one that ended there and there was one that ended there. Looks like the dart has been completely removed on this one. So we're not gonna be drawing in a new dart. 
Um, but if you look at the dart legs and there's still an existing dart, you would need to redraw a dart in. I always suggest making a muslin. If you also like the, the width at the waist, you need to keep the width at the waist. Make sure you do keep the width, and I'm just going to add a node right in there at the width. That way you can keep the waist uh, length there. And then we're just going to need to come in and bring that curve in. I just clicked and I'm dragging that um, in to try to match that arm side. Your arm side length should not have changed at all. It should be the same. So you shouldn't need to change the arm at all. But I did keep that uh, waist there and you can kind of curve this out um, how you need it to be. Um, you can delete some of these nodes as needed um, and try to kind of curve out that line. You want to make sure you keep that half inch kind of out but the neatness about this program is you can make a nice curve without using a French curve um, on there but it's looking pretty good on how how we want that and so adjust it as you need and we are just about finished let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to duplicate that body piece I just so I have another copy bring it out here and there we have our new bodice piece with the small bust adjustment made the dart was completely removed so I didn't need to add a new one in but remember to use those dart legs if you do need to add and redraw a dart in and I always suggest making a muslin to make sure that it's it fits correctly on your body. But there you have it, a small bust adjustment with a dart in Inkscape.